Hello everyone and welcome back to the Acolyte Podcast. Today we are going to begin digging into the political mind of Nikolai Machiavelli. Since our favorite show, House of the Dragon, is so inspired by his way of thinking. Nicola Machiavelli to the magnificent Lorenzo de Piero de Medici. To those who strive to obtain the good graces of a prince are accustomed to come before him with such things as they hold most precious, or in which they see him take most delight, whence one often sees horses, arms, cloth of gold, precious stone, and similar ornaments presented to princes worthy of their greatness. Desiring, therefore, to present myself to your magnificence with some testimony of my devotion towards you, I have not found among my possessions anything which I hold more dear or value as much as the knowledge of the actions of great men acquired by long experience in contemporary affairs and a continual study of antiquity, which, having reflected upon it with great and prolonged diligence, I now send, digested into a little volume, to your magnificence. And although I may consider this work unworthy of your countenance, nevertheless, I trust much to your benignity that it may be accepted, seeing that it is not possible for me to make a better gift than to offer you the opportunity of understanding in the shortest time all that I have learnt in so many years, and with so many troubles and dangers, which work I have not embellished with swelling or magnificent words, nor stuffed with rounded periods, nor with an eccentric allurement of adornments whatsoever, with which so many are accustomed to embellish their works. For I have wished either that no honor should be given it, or else that the truth of the matter and the weightiness of these themes shall make it acceptable. Nor do I hold with those who regard it as a presumption if a man of low and humble condition dare to discuss and settle the concerns of princes, because, just as those who draw landscapes place themselves below in the plain to contemplate the nature of the mountains and of lofty places, and in order to contemplate the plains, place themselves upon high mountains. Even so, to understand the nature of the people, it needs to be a prince, and to understand that of princes it needs to be of the people. Take then, your magnificence, this little gift, in the spirit in which I send it, wherein, if it be diligently read and considered by you, you will learn my extreme desire that you should attain that greatness which fortune and your other attributes promise. And if your magnificence from the summit of your greatness will sometimes turn your eyes to these lower regions, you will see how unmeritedly I suffer a great and continued malignity of fortune. Now I think one of the most striking lessons to take from this dedication of the prince by Machiavelli to the great Medici of his time in Florence is how to talk to princes. He understands that even if the goal of his book is to educate, you cannot speak to somebody higher on the totem pole as if you know better than them. And it's just one of the many insights to be gained from reading The Prince. Hopefully, you will return for our next reading of The Prince and garner another helpful hint to take away from that reading. Be sure to leave us a like and a subscribe and check back again for our latest content.